And welcome back, Mushroom Man Toad here, and this is that episode of Pokemon Insurgents where I go down Route 3 and battle a whole bunch of trainers in the name of getting XP. So if you're up for some epic Pokemon battles, make sure you stay tuned to this episode. Let's get into this. I warn you, darling, if you think you can handle my Pokemon, you have another thing coming. I'm Batman. Socialite Barbara. She has sent out Gloom, which if this was a normal Squirtle, would be my doom. It would be Gloom and Doom. Fortunately, it's not. It's just a, yeah, it's just a Gloom. Aha! Critical Bite! And I am now paralyzed. R.I.P. Batman. Gloom with another Stun Spore! What is it trying to accomplish? Batman's just kind of stuck there. There, that's what it was trying to accomplish. The Mega Drain. Okay, this is the part where we get out hacked and I get mildly annoyed. Seriously, if I had a dollar for every time that happened, I would have... Well, I would be a rich boy. I'm gonna go down, Batman gonna gain that XP, leveling up to level 26. Barbara's about to send in Bell Awesome into the Axu, because we kind of need more XP on the Axu. Alright, here we go. Axu already getting outspent, so the paralysis isn't going to matter in that department. Ooh, wow, and it does exactly half HP, it looks like. So, potentially... Wow, what are the paralysis hacks with this lady? I mean, really? Wow! Come on, just let me land the attack! What in the world? What am I even? What am I even? Wow! This is Pokey CA level of haxing right here. What did I... Wow! It's a lot of XP though, I'll take it. I'm gonna stop complaining now because that's a lot of XP. Yeah, there we go. Get those two levels in one battle. Never you mind, dear. You may pass. Not like you're gonna have much say in the matter at this point. <laughs> Time to go heal up because all my Pokemon are paralyzed. Already. Here's a trainer. I've been studying the new fairy type. The one thing I don't understand is their dragon immunity. How does that work? Well, this game just likes to say it like it is, don't they? And go for the bite. That's gonna be resisted, actually. Really? Really? What in the world? What is this hacks? Really? I'm two trainers in, and I'm already getting annoyed with the level of hacks happening on this route. I'm gonna send in the Grimer. Parabolic charge. I am glad I switched. Not sure what that would do, but it sounds so awesome that I'm scared of it. There's the charm, I'm gonna harshly lower Grimer's attack. Meaning that Bulldoze is just gonna be a little scratch. It's gonna slow it down, which is good. And there goes Dedene. Bye Dedene. Magnum I'm sure has Levitate or something stupid like that, right? No! Actually gonna be trapped by the Sand Tomb. Well that's surprising. There comes a Magnet Bomb. Ow? Question mark? Yeah. About all it was to say about that. Ow, question mark. Magnemite going to go down. That's going to be XP into just Grimer. Just Grimer. Clink is about to come in. Will Bob change Pokemons? Yes. Dude, we've already got a ground type, so we kind of need something to replace Ball Toy. We're going to go in with the Ghostly. Ghostly against Clink. Nightshade. It's going to do mild damage. So the Clink's gonna wake up, and gonna go for that Thundershock. Here we go with the Nightshade. Thundershock! Nightshade! Gonna knock out the Clink. Hey, that's gonna be lots of XP. I'm just... that's just kind of occurring to me. We leveled up to 20. Deadnay about to come in. Yes, we're gonna switch Pokémon, and this time we're gonna go into the Axu. Because we need a little more XP on Axu, because I kind of want to keep using it. Because it's cool. Guys, I'm a moron. What did she say? Right at the beginning of this battle. But what about its dragon immunity? 
What's up with that? Well, I don't know. But in the course of this battle, I've managed to forget that it even exists. That! That is the level of hacks that I'm talking about! Got rid of the Dedene. It's all gonna be okay. Axu's gonna gain lots and lots of XP, and everybody's gonna be happy except the lady we beat. False swipe! Yes! Scary face is out of here. Axu forgets scary face and learns that false swipe. I almost got another level in there. I defeated scientist Lena. How does a little Jigglypuff stay safe from a huge Salamence? It makes no sense! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! Isn't that right, Batman? Who is immune to psychic types. Hey, it's that guy! Did you know that in the Torrin region there's a trench so deep that nobody's ever touched the bottom? It's called the Maelstrom 9 and it's huge! Well, we're gonna have to explore that at some point. Sailor Buckbeard would like to battle. Buckbeard with the chin chow. That's got a little rhythm to it. Buckbeard with the chin chow. Now it's weird. We go for the knockoff into the chin chow. Here we go with the vacuum wave into the chin chow. Chin chow gonna faint. Batman gonna gain minimal XP points for its efforts. Hunt tail about to come in. Let's not. I keep wanting to think War Turtle. Batman is a is a water type, and it's not in this game. We're gonna go for that bite and flinch the Hunt tail, but it has a whole lot of XP and water pulse apparently. Not that I'm interested in that fact, but it's, it's a thing that's happening. And when my job is to give you the play-by-play, -play, that's what we're doing here. So, Batman's gonna switch out, and we're gonna go in with the Axu. It seemed to have anticipated that switch. Very, very effectively. It's Grimer time! Grimer, we're gonna go in with that, uh, Sand Tomb, because that seems to be a good way to go about that. No, never mind, there goes the Water Pulse. Not quite gonna knock out the uh, Grimer. Santum gonna land and going to trap the Hunt Tail. Which will do good enough damage. Hunt Tail with the Brine. So we're gonna switch into the Octillery. Go get him, Octillery. And yes, out of all my Pokemon, this is the one that's gonna get all the XP. But there we go with the Aurora Beam. Of course, resisted and Sand Tomb. When you die, doesn't keep going. Hey, Batman's gonna grow a level. Artillery's gonna grow a level. Are you wanting to learn a new move? Ring out. I mean, with, with all of the uh, tentacles Artillery has, I'm sure it can do that. The user powerfully rings the target. The more HP the target has, the greater this attack's power. For some strange reason, I just have a feeling I should hold on to that and use it at some point against some really high HP Pokemon. Like right now! Let's try it out against this Krakna! Here we go with the ring out into the Krakna. There's the bite! There's the ring out! Wow. It's... Surprisingly effective. There's another bite! Octillery with the Psy Beam! Oh. Crack! Hacks! Lots and lots of hacks. Sometimes you love them. Right now. Crocodile's gonna faint. Batman's gonna gain the XP. I just kind of forgot to keep commentating there. Oh, yeah. Can you tell I'm excited about this new move? We don't really need that torment anymore. We're getting past that point. We have defeated Sailor Buckbeard with the Chin Chow. Yippers, I might visit it sometime. And see if you can touch the bottom of Maelstrom 9. Or Maelstrom, isn't it? Up to this point, I forgot the whole reason we were looking for a Poke Center in the first place, which was to find a Steel-type. Did you have to go out and catch a Magnemite 
in order to trade it with that guy for his Delta Pokemon. Which means, I'll be right back. Actually, ran into a trainer. Looks like we're doing a battle first. Potentially not even a trainer. Might just be a random wild Curlia. No, it was. It was just a wild Curlia. Oops. Moving swiftly. Stop walking so loudly. You'll scare away all the bugs. I'm going to walk louder. It is Bug Catcher Ingram. Has an Illumise. Gonna go for that knockoff into the Illumise. Illumise gonna outspeed with the quick attack. Knockoff gonna go into it and do mediocre damage. We're gonna go for that vacuum wave. Hopefully that'll do extra damage because it's a bug type. Apparently it's gonna resist it instead. There's the moonlight coming in. Dirty trick. Illumise's got the wish. So this thing is basically just a tank stall spam Pokemon. I don't like tank stall spam Pokemon. At least not when I'm fighting them. When they're on my team, they're okay. Now watch, here comes the moonlight. Oh no, it's just gonna spam down that wish. All right. Yeah, it's gonna go for the moonlight. It's trying to guarantee it stays safe in this game. <sighs> I mean, at least it's not hacks this time. It's just stupid. It's not hacks, it's stupid. I mean, it's gotta run out of moonlight eventually. Yeah, it's going down to the struggle bug. And it's just gonna happen to cripple my special attack. Ilamize still got some moonlight left in there. How many does that have? Like 10? Can't be that many. I mean, can't be much more than 10, you know. Because I know Wish has 10. Oh, it's going for another Wish. It's desperate. It's out of Moonlight. And it's going down. That took a lot longer than it should have. And we're going to gain some XP and go to level 29 with the Batman. Drill is about to come in. Yes, I'm going to, but just for that special attack drop. Let's switch into the... To the Grimer? Drill bug flying type. Probably. That was a very good wish right there. There goes that pursuit. I wasn't really planning on switching out. Amazingly, not a flying type, so ground type attacks do work on a B drill. It's good to know. There goes the toxic spikes from the B drill, which means I'm not going to be able to switch out a Grimer after this. It's a bit of a dirty trick. I'm trying to XP grind here. Ah, 2,000. I was worried that wasn't going to be enough to level up, but it was. If only barely. Oh, Mud Bomb! Sweet. I will happily make room for Mud Bomb. Is it special, though? It is special. It has low accuracy, but may lower accuracy. I'm just going to replace Spit Up because we really don't need Spit Up. Got the Mud Bomb. Ingram is about to send in the Volbeat. Nope, not gonna change Pokemon because there's toxic spikes. Well, let's try our new Mud Bomb attack, see how that goes. There's the Tail Glow. Wow, that's a powerful move. But we're gonna get that accuracy reduction going here. Now's the point where it's my turn to hacks. Here comes the quick attacks. Remember, the evasiveness is gonna rise. We're gonna go for another Minimize. There's the Moonlight. One more minimize, and then we'll just... I'm not really sure what we're going to do after that, actually. We're just going to sit here for a while. In fact, I'm going to fast cam this. Actually, there we go. It's done. We've already beat it. That was relatively quick. Just kind of spamming down the same moves. Works most of the time. We defeated Bugcatcher Ingram. Well, just be quiet then. I want to catch Pokemon. All right, all right. I'll be quiet. Oh, here's a guy. Have you seen the Ruin on Route 2? I heard there's a very powerful Lucario in there. I bet you're right, sir. I bet you're right. This is Ruin Maniac Robin, who would like to battle. He's got a Geodude. We've got a Bite. Bite Man. 
Bite man. Ah, right, here comes the magnitude. Magnitude nine. Oh, that hurt a little bit. That's all there really is to say about that. Down with the Geodude. Geodude's gonna faint. Batman's gonna gain minimal XP points. Next in is gonna be a Hitmon Lee. Yes, I'm gonna change because, as we've said several times this game, we know what happens when a fighting type comes up against the Batman. Here comes in the Hitmon Lee. We're gonna go with the Psybeam. Hitmon Lee gonna use that jump kick. Psybeam might be able to take it down though. No, only the half HP. Okay. Hitmon Lee with once again a jump kick. And then here goes a Psybeam. Hitmon Lee gonna faint. Octillery with the 1744 XP. Not quite gonna level up. Unknown is about to come in. Okay, we're gonna have to be very clever here. Unknown is an extremely powerful Pokemon, and that's why we're switching into Ghostly. The coughing in the background was very ideally timed, surprisingly. We're gonna go, first of all, for that Hypnosis, which is apparently gonna miss. I'm not sure what type this Hidden Power is gonna be. Oh, we're immune to the Hidden Power on it! Oh, that's not even fair to the poor Unknown! I actually kind of feel bad about how badly this unknown's about to be beaten. No, I don't. I'm actually enjoying this. Also, I get to say something fun when I beat it, because notice the letter on that unknown. And it's because of how quick the capture mechanic is that I haven't gotten to say this yet. Ready? Hey! Right. The Unknown fainted! Ghostly gonna gain lots of XP! Will we get two levels? Yes, we will get two levels! 22. Ghostly trying to learn Sucker Punch. Oh yeah, we want that Sucker Punch. Which move should be forgotten? We don't really use Confuse very much. I'm not really relying on that heavy of hacks, you know. Ghostly forgot Confuse Ray and learned Sucker Punch. We defeated Rune Maniac Robin. Well, I guess I lost, but I lost fairly. Yep, you lost fairly. Badly. So here we go, we're gonna take on this trainer. I'm the strongest of the strong, and I have only the comfiest of shorts to thank for it. Because in every Pokemon game, there's one comfy shorts individual. Hello, Camper Joey. <laughs> With the Vigoroth. <laughs> I'm trying to be scared right now. But first of all, the Pokemon is fairly derpy in how tough it's supposed to be. And second, I'm battling Comfy Shorts Man. That's cool. Wait a minute, is that supposed to be like Bigfoot or something? I see what they're doing there. Giraffe Rig is about to come in. No, I'm not gonna change yet. We'll see if we can lay down a flinch. Nope, it's gonna lay down a stomp, and it's gonna lay down the Batman. No, Batman! Alright, we're gonna switch into the Axu. We're gonna go for that Dragon Rage into the Giraffe Rig, who's going to use the stomp. Dragon Rage gonna go in and do enough damage that I'm happy with it. There's a Psy Beam, which we're not gonna tank. Axu gonna faint. It's kind of unfortunate, but only kind of. We're gonna switch into the Octillery. Which is actually going to get outsped and destroyed. But we're going to do it anyway. Psybeam though. Yeah, it's going to knock us out. Actually, he's going to faint. I'm going to switch into the Grimer. Let's go for that Bulldoze. There's an Assurance coming in from the Giraffe Rig trying to assure its victory. But it's not going to work. The Giraffe Rig is going to go down to the Bulldoze. Grimer with a lot of XP. Going to grow to level 30. Our first Pokemon to reach level 30 is in fact Yuck the Grimer. Which we haven't named Yuck yet. Well, how did I lose? Soundly. Okay, now we gotta go in here and catch a Magnemite really quick. But we keep encountering Pokemon right here on the show. Okay. Hello. I like you. This is a good Pokemon. I think we shall catch it. If the game lets us catch it. I think one more Nightshade should be probably the safest move we've got against it. Here goes the bubble beam. Speed's gonna drop, which isn't good. But we're gonna land that hypnosis and put the Piplup to sleep. 
Now we're gonna try to catch it. And because it's cool, we're gonna use a Premier Ball. There we go, one Premier Ball going into the Piplup. Hey, we got a Piplup and a Premier Ball, which is just really cool all around. There we go. Piplup's data added to the Pokedex. It is the Penguin Pokemon. Because it's very proud, it hates accepting food from people. Its thick down guards it from the cold. You know, Piplup was actually the first Pokemon I ever had in a Pokemon game because my first Pokemon game was Platinum. And I was a big fan of Piplup. That's awesome though, I'm glad we had that encounter. That's so cool. There we go, I found myself a Magnemite. It's kind of in an awkward spot. Yeah, okay, that's kind of what I thought was... Okay, never mind, it tanked it. That's surprising. We're gonna switch into the Ghostly. And we're going to switch into the Aksu, because it's got the full swipe. There's a Ghostly. Here's an Aksu. There's the Thundershock. We're gonna go for that Hypnosis. And for that false swipe. Ghostly's attack gonna miss false swipe though. Gonna be swiping falsely. Magnemite with the magnet bomb. Hypnosis once more, false swipe once more. There we go, Hypnosis finally gonna land and put the Magnemite to sleep. Axu's false swipe gonna land. That's gotta be in catchable range. So let's go with a normal Pokeball because we're gonna be just trading it away. Here we go! It's gonna break free! What? Yeah, false swipe it is. Magnemite's gonna stay asleep. Now, how hard can it possibly be to catch a Magnemite? It's at lowest health it can be at, and it's asleep. There we go, we caught a Magnemite. I thought that was, like, absurdly unlucky. There we go. Look at all that XP coming in. Somebody had leveled up. That would have been funny. There we go. Magnemite. It is the Magnet Pokemon. The units at its sides are extremely powerful magnets. They generate enough magnetism to draw in iron objects from over 300 feet away. That's crazy. Nope. Well, we are going to go back, and we are going to trade it to the guy in the house. I would just like to thank you for all your hard service, Baltoy. Enjoy an honored place in the box of Zekrom. And out comes the Magnemite! Help! Let's see what he's got. You've got the rare Delta Pokemon. Delta Scyther? For this Swagnemite. Goodbye! For Wob's Magnemite, Hiker Trevor sends Scyther. Hiker Trevor bids farewell to Scyther. Whoa. Oh, and it's stuck with this stupid name, Cleaver. And a crummy moveset. But other than that, it's cool. What type is it, actually? Ice and Fighting. I feel like you would poke that with a stick from five feet off and it would die. But actually, I think we've managed to battle every single trainer on the route, which means I've done what I wanted to do for this episode. So if you enjoyed lots of Pokemon battles and a new Delta Pokemon that I'm not actually going to be running, sorry. Then do make sure you leave a like on this video and do consider subscribing if you're new here and are not already. Of course, if you're new here and you watched all the way through this episode to the outro, and you haven't seen the earlier episodes, you're kind of doing it wrong. But one way or another, thank you for watching. This has been Mushroom Man Toad, and I will see you in the next one.